how's it going everyone welcome to another video uh, I just got something in the mail something I'm very excited to get um, I had the car for about a year now and I have yet to replace the air filter so uh, I'm pretty sure the previous owner did not replace the air filter so um, I figured why not do it now right so let's open it up all right so there you have it the uh, high flow air filter from K&N I could have picked up an OEM one from Lexus, but I figured why not pay a, a few bucks more and actually get a K&N filter. Alright, let's open it up. Alright, there you have it. K&N air filter. Oh, guess to give you a sticker as well to put on your air box after you install it. Might actually do that. So. Let's pop the hood up and uh, let's get started. Alright guys, first thing I recommend is to uh, get a pair of gloves because it's going to get a little messy and dirty considering it's the engine compartment and also a flathead uh, screwdriver to get rid of these uh, um, clamps. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put these gloves on first. Alright, get started. You want to go ahead? and firmly pry this up it should pop right off and then there's two more in the back so you have one two three and four next we're going to remove the Josie arm um, most people could just pry these two clips here over here but I'm going to make it easier for myself and remove this so you use your flathead and then start twisting these off You can grab these uh, rings, these clamps, and put them aside here on the, the grill so you don't lose them. So next, we're going to go ahead and get uh, loosen up these two flatheads up here and then the one holding this one in place. Now you want to go ahead and just slide this forward. And then since this clip right here, this clamp, you can go ahead and just Pry it up 9 degrees. It'll slide right out. Put that aside. We're going to tackle this right before we put everything together, but right now we're going to focus on the air filter. Guys, we have two clips here on the air box. We're just going to go ahead and pry them open. Very easy. Just like that, it releases the air box. So, just want to push it back. And about now you have the exposed uh, air filter here now I'm gonna go ahead and slowly pry open the air filter out of its housing because there's a lot of dust on there as you can see mine is very 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 dirty um, I'm really glad that I actually bought this uh, this filter because I want to go ahead and improve the, the airflow and the gas mileage of my car so as you can see this is the old OEM uh, Toyota Lexus air filter and for those who want to replace theirs there we go the part number right there so we're gonna go ahead and just put this aside and then open this up all right we're gonna go ahead and reinstall um, the air filter the thicker side right here is gonna go right into the box so fits in there pretty pretty nicely now you want to slowly bring this back and hook it up in place it should slide into a little seat in the bottom first before you close it on the top so since mine is securely sitting inside you can go ahead and just push it in lock it in place Alright guys, so you're wondering why I removed my intake arm. Well, this gives you access straight to the throttle body. So, you can buy throttle body cleaner at your local uh, auto parts store. I'm just going to go ahead and clean my throttle body out. So, 
it's quite simple. But you want to get a rag and you want to go ahead and spray a little bit onto the rag. Just like that, just to dampen it. It will dry quick, but you want to just go ahead and spray a little bit. And then go inside and start cleaning your throttle body. So. Now I have easier access to get to it. So ideally you just want to push the flap. You can hold it in place like that and then get to it. So mine seems a little bit oily, but we'll see. All right, you see here? Nothing on the rag. Not too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean the top and all around again. So get a new side. Not too bad, honestly. You want to keep going on, cleaning up it, the area, opening it, inspecting it to see if there's any more of the uh, grease and dirt and debris that's stuck in there. Uh, clean the flap itself. But yeah, I recommend doing this every, you know, uh, air filter change or whenever you have the time, honestly. But it definitely helps make things a lot smoother, functionality of the car. So yeah, I cleaned mine about a year ago, so it's still great. Now we're going to go ahead and just put everything back together. You can go ahead and reinstall your engine cover. Alright guys, that was just a quick video on how to install an air filter in a ISF. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Very easy, it takes about 5 minutes as well as another 5 minutes to clean your throttle body if you haven't done that. Um, I give you all the things that you need to do it. Very simple, just a flat head and some patience. You'll be fine. But definitely replace your air filter every once in a while, maybe once or twice a year, depending on your area. Um, it's getting very hot here in Florida, so I figured why not replace it. So, uh, yeah, make sure you uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, and uh, post on social media to spread the word. You know, I'm trying my best to uh, update the community with things. And, and DIYs on how to work on your car without sending it to the shop and spending a lot of money for it. So, very easy stuff. So, stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Oh, oh.